Hello, this video is to show you how to do the um, Tracy Beaker um, practice for the next few weeks. So, um, um, if, with my group, we were doing some pizzicato warm ups um, to the backing track. Um, so first off, we did it with the right hand plucking um, because the two notes that the tune uses is an E and a D. Now, um, we actually have an open E string as well as an open D string. So actually, this tune can be played all on the open strings to start off with. So um, I'll start off with right-hand pizzicato, and then I'll show you how to do the same pattern with left-hand pizzicato along to the backing track, um, so you can practice both at home. Okay, so we're starting with right-hand pizzicato. D, e, 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 D, 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 D. Making sure the elbow moves. E, E, E. Lift elbow. Is on the fingerboard and, and we're plucking with first finger and then this bit they can do some improvisations so encourage them to use their elbow and using all of the open strings and make sure both elbows get a chance to waggle Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do it with left hand pizzicato. So the thumb goes here, and then D string. They might not cope with the rhythm. They can use any fingers. Fourth finger. Okay. And again, in the improvisation bit, make sure that the elbow is waggling. And so on, okay? So that's how to do it with left hand bits cutter and right hand bits cutter. Make sure the right hand bits cutter, the thumb goes onto the edge of the fingerboard, the elbow is free to waggle, and the first finger is plucking. Left hand bits cutter, the elbow moves to help the strings, the fingers get round, and have a go at doing first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. And this is really good exercise because now we're putting the fingers down on the strings, plucking with the left hand helps get the fingers strong and ready and healthy to go down um, when they come down um, to the end of the scroll. Okay, so then we can use it as a bowing exercise. So um, once we're putting the fingers down, um, we're only using the D string. So um, I haven't got the stars on here, but if we start with the string at the balance point and we get a lovely bow hold and we do D, 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 D. And we can practice um, doing our down bow and up bow name. So this is a down bow where we pull and an up bow is where we push. So it goes down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And try and get the right elbow level so that we're just hearing a clean D string. D, 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 D. Okay, a lovely loose bow hold. Um, so that's how to do the um, bowing practice for that one. Then um, we're getting to put our fingers down. So we put the violin in guitar pose. Um, the left hand thumb, okay, give thumbs up and it goes on the top of the um, neck of the violin opposite where the um, red dot is, okay. And the knuckle goes a little bit further back, sort of towards the nut, the nut of the violin is where the strings are being held. And the first finger comes up and down like a little hammer onto the um, the red dot on the D string. Now make sure that the thumb doesn't grip really tightly, it's just loose on top and that the wrist is nice and relaxed and they can put that first finger down on the E and off again. Um, in that pose I would probably have a go at doing some of the backing track um, and singing along. So, e, e, e. Uh, 
actually singing it while they're putting their finger down. They don't actually have to pluck with the right hand. That's a lot to think about. But so if they use their voice, E, 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 D, 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 D. I apologise, I have no voice in that range at the moment. Okay, once they've got their fingers down, then we lift the violin up onto the shelf, making sure that the wrist is nice and straight. The thumb is free to do a few little taps so that it's not gripping too much, okay? And we get the bow ready and we put everything together. Okay, so um, I will go from the beginning of the backing track now and um, I'll play it through so that you can actually use this um, as a backing track if you can't download the one. First finger ready. And then they can um, use their bow to improvise on their open strings. bit for you. Okay, now <coughs> um, the next week we're going to have a look at um, learning the note names of the A string first finger notes. So um, you can do the bowing exercises, but this time we're going to do them on the A strings. Let me just tune because I'm not. Okay, so again, we set the bow at balance point, get a lovely loose bow hold, set the elbow at the right level to be able to get an A string note. And we go down, up, down, up. sure that the elbow and the wrist and the knuckles are all in line none of this going on okay um, and once we've done that we can go into guitar pose and we put the thumbs up the thumb goes opposite the red spot the knuckle goes a little bit further behind near the nut and the first finger goes onto the A string so now that first finger on the A string that's an A that's a B okay so we have a B and A so can we sing along to the tune this time, but using B's and A's? Okay. And we can do some improvising. In this section, we can get ready to put our hand up so the thumb goes opposite the red dot. The first finger this time is going on the A string. And we're playing just on the A string. Singing the note names.
string B, 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 B. So that's the ending you can just do on the D string. Okay, have lots of fun with that one. Hopefully the backing track um, on this video can be used as backing track if you need it. Um, and that shows you all the different ways that you can use that as um, an exercise. So you can use it as a left hand pizzicato warm up, right hand pizzicato warm up, bowing exercises for down, up, down, up, um, first finger exercises on the D string, so D and E, and first finger exercises on the A string, so A and B. So learning those note names. Have fun.